so I just got into work and it's a little bit rushed this morning. So I got myself some Tim Horton notes. Now the one thing I'm not that impressed about, which it's kind of hard when you're in the drive through to be clear about these things, but they have two options for oats. They have their mixed berries and their maple. Now, I really just want plain ones because I carry this around. Just one scoop of vanilla protein powder. So whenever you're in a pinch, a lot of these restaurants, McDonald's, Tim Hortons, they do offer oats as an option for breakfast. And the best thing to do is to ask for them plain. So I clearly just couldn't get that message across <laughs> in the drive-thru at 5.30 a.m. And they gave me maple. So not the worst thing ever. It's totally fine, just a few extra carbs. But I'm going to have this and my very Canadian Americano. Canada loves hockey so much that uh, Tim Hortons took part and made <coughs> these cups for the big hockey tournament that's going on right now. <laughs> okay, gonna eat this, then client number one. All right guys, so just biked back to the gym. I'm here for another client and meal number two having a pure protein bar. So these ones aren't, like, they're pretty good. They're pretty good calorie wise, um, these protein bars. They don't have as much fiber as say like a Quest bar does. So they have five grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, and 19 grams of protein. So really good pre-workout snack. So that's kind of what this is gonna be. I got one more client, then I'm gonna be lifting shoulders and then biking home because I still don't have a car. I don't think I'm going to get one. We shall see. All right guys, so for today's workout, I did a shoulder workout, hence the name Boulder Shoulders. So for warm up, just super lightweight, I used five pound dumbbells to do some lateral raises followed by some forward raises just to get things warmed up shoulders again are very prone to injury so it's really really important that you take your time warming up your shoulders before you start lifting heavy. Um, I did do a few band exercises which I've shown in some of my videos before but chose not to show those on here as they are the same thing you always see. Um, moving into my workout I then started off with some strict overhead press. So for the strict overhead press definitely tried to push myself. I did four sets, filmed three of those, uh, got up to 65 pounds, which was okay for weight for me. Um, yeah, overall impressed with that. Obviously, I'm a little bit bouncy with my presses, and I need to kind of work on that a bit. But overall, pretty happy with how my shoulders were performing for the overhead press. Trying to lift a little bit heavier, and I'll do that in the next few months as I bring my rep range back down lower. Because um, as you really start to focus on building strength in your muscles you tend to bring the rep ranges down so I'm kind of halfway through that phase and that I'm still doing some higher so six to ten reps um, for most of my main lifts um, with this being one of those So the next exercise I moved into were my seated dumbbell bent over raises. Now these exercises are fantastic for hitting the rear delts. Um, they really allow you to focus on that eccentric phase. So when you're lowering back down, it's quite a bit more difficult than if you were to do these guys standing up or using the machine. So I like these ones a lot. Moving into my dumbbell lateral raises, I'm trying to lift a little bit heavier here, varied from 10 to 15 pounds really taking my time again on that eccentric phase so when I'm coming back down to make sure I'm hitting that lateral head of the deltoid. Exercise number four here were single arm uh, dumbbell upright row. So a lot of people tend to do these with a barbell and use both arms at the same time. I really find a lot more success doing single arm upright rows. I do struggle with a bit of a shoulder injury as I'm sure some of you have noticed my left shoulder doesn't quite have same range as the right one does but 
this exercise allows me to hit that um, front head of the deltoid a lot more efficiently as I can use the range that this shoulder is able to go through to hit that. So in this next exercise, I'm doing some cable face pulls with a rope. Now this is probably the one where you'll see it the most prominent in that left shoulder. As you see, it's really not that even as I'm pulling back, but I am really focusing on squeezing those shoulder blades together in order to hit the rear delts as well as the traps in this exercise. A little bit of the lats here too on this pulling motion. But I don't think that if you have, an ex have any sort of injuries that you need to completely eliminate a muscle group just because of it, you need to just kind of modify what you're doing in order to work that area pain-free and to the best of the ability for you. That's a really, really important thing. It's just because you're injured, it doesn't mean you can't just come to the gym and work that area. You definitely can. You just need to modify things and make sure that you're taking your time, doing some lower weights and maybe some higher rep range just to help promote recovery as well as still getting a good pump in that muscle region. And the last exercise that I did was just a nice isolation one using the shoulder press machine. Finished off here with three sets of 12 with my palms facing in. Uh, I find this grip a lot more difficult than going a bit wider on this one. So my main focus on this one is keeping those elbows pointed in, palms facing in, and going through full range of motion. Fall leaves on the ground. Chief, in the background there. So pretty. Guys, so I just got back from biking looking lovely. Um, I've decided that I'm going to wait on getting a car. I kind of am digging getting a little bit of extra cardio in um, each day. I mean, it's a 5K bike for me to work and back, so that's pretty good. I usually do that a few times in a day. Um, I try to make it home to let Mika out as well, middle of the day. So it's kind of nice. It's pretty relaxing too, but. Last night was not the best. <laughs> so after I taught one of my classes at the gym, I biked home and decided to start pouring. I uh, later found out that my waterproof jacket is really not that waterproof. So that was fun and riding on a mountain bike, well, if you don't have the things on your tires to keep the water from spraying up on your face, it's a super pleasant ride home. So I think that's gonna be my only limiting factor to this whole not uh, getting a car anytime soon thing is uh, dealing with the rain because it is fall and it is starting to rain a lot but I'm not gonna let that stop me I'm gonna push through and I'm gonna see how long I can last without getting a new car um, so yeah feel free to take some bets on how long I'm gonna last personally I think I can last at least until ski season because things get a little bit complicated in ski season when I need to be driving up to Whistler and then back that's not bikeable that's I mean, it's bikeable for sure, people do it, but with my lifestyle, I'm not a road biker, um, so that's not really doable, but biking to and from work, doing that, uh, using active commuting as a form of commuting versus sitting in a car, I think is great, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna push forward with that, either biking or running to work, and we're gonna see how long I last for. So that's my update. <laughs> All right. Hello, Maple. Goodbye. All right, let's go get Mika. 
the bone. Hello, Mika. You're getting big. Oh, you want that? Come over here. Okay, sit. Down. Lay down. Down. Oh, good girl. There you go. Bye bye, Mika. <laughs> Guard cat. <laughs> out of the way. Get out. All right. Let's make some lunch. Alrighty, so I had a bunch of leftover veggies. So we got some broccoli and some Brussels sprouts in this green mix. And then check this guy. We got sweet potato on the bottom. This is some chicken that I cooked the other night. There's also some onion in it, um, some asparagus, and some yellow peppers. So I'm gonna weigh out 3.5 ounces of the chicken, add it to this guy, heat it up in the microwave, and that's lunch. So when you have stuff prepared, it is so easy to hit your macros and to keep working towards your goals. When you don't have stuff prepared, that's when oftentimes things get a little bit out of control. So I'm gonna make this up and eat it up.